Today we'll be looking at the Eat the Cake challenge, which is a retired reverse engineering challenge on Hack the Box, in the, and it's difficulty rated medium. So it's an old challenge, and the description says find a password and enter it in the form of Hack the Box. So let's try and download the file, and it's an executable file. We'll grab a, a local copy of it. And the first thing we'll want to do is just check out the file type. See, it's 32-bit executable for Windows, and it's UPX compressed. So if we look at the strings on this here, we're not going to see too much because of the packing that's been used. But if we check UPX, you can see that we can decompress using the dash D flag. So let's use UPX dash D and pass in cake. You see there it's unpacked one file and now if we check file it no longer says UPX compressed and if we check the strings again we'll now have some more strings to look at and some nice ASCII art. So we see a challenge brought to you by Little Pony and it's asking us for a 10 digit password and a 15 digit password all numbers and capital letters and then if we get them right predictably it'll give us uh, our flag. So let's try and run the program in Wine rather than sw swap into our Windows box. And you can see here it's asking us for a 10 digit password. Let's just try and put an A. You can see it didn't actually validate that at all. It didn't check that it was 10 digits. It didn't make sure it was numbers and capital letters. Let's try that again with the 15 digit. And no look there. What about if we 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five better luck next time. Okay, so you have to enter in exactly 15 characters in order for it to check the this this password, but it's still not verifying that it's numbers and capital letters. It just says better luck next time if we get it if we get it incorrect. Um so let's open up Gedra and see if we can decompile the code and, and have a look at it. We'll um create a new project. Just call it cake. And then let's import the file. And double click to access the disassembly. Just yes to go through the checks. And it'll run through some checks here. You see we have our functions and our imports and exports and stuff on the left here. So we could go through and start having a look at the functions. We have some folders of functions here. You see there's actually quite a lot of functions in here. So um, what I'll do instead is search for strings and see if we can find out where, where, where was it asking us for the password and more importantly Whereabouts was it giving us the flag? So if we just select this, it'll actually highlight here the the, the 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 string, and then we can jump to the reference, the function that it's referenced in. You see here, this is the condition where if if we meet this condition, these two conditions, then congratulations, we're going to get our flag. Otherwise, better luck next time. So we need to reverse engineer this function and see what we need to do to make these two conditions um, hold true. So uh, in the function here we can see that we have some variables declared at the beginning, series of vari variables, some more declared here. This is where the ASCII art was printed to us and then it asked us for the 10 digit password which it didn't actually check the length of or, or make sure that it was numbers and capital letters and then it checked this 15 digit password where you can actually see here in this case that it's running while local um, is not equal to 15 um, please enter the password so it kept checking the password but it's not actually doing any other checks there to make sure that it's all numbers and capital letters either okay after that we have uh, the string copy so it's taking the string off of us and then we have some we have some checks here, some character checks. So these variables that we have at the beginning are being checked to see does this does 
does 41D equals K, does 418 equals A, um, etc. for a lot of these variables. And essentially, if all of these conditions meet, hold true, then it's going to assign C var 1 is equal to this 0, 1. And then jump down to here, otherwise it's going to say C var 1 is equal to the backslash 0. And then again, we have some more checks here, checking some characters. And if they match, it's going to assign this local 439 is equal to 0, 1. Otherwise, it's going to be 0. And then finally, we have our condition, which is going to check to um, make sure that the that these conditions have met true. And if so, then we've got the flag incorrectly. So the way I would approach this in terms of solving it would be to grab a copy of the variables that we have here and paste them into a text editor and then we can go through and actually look at the look at the comparisons that are being done um, there are plenty of ways to do this by the way you could go through debugging this as it's actually running and see what comparisons are happening but it's um, a reverse engineer challenge let's try and reverse engineer the code and see what's going on. So here we have a check that's being done. We're checking if 41D is equal to K. So 41D is equal to K in this case. And then 418 is equal to A. 420 is equal to H. And 416 is equal to A. And then we have 41B is H, 417 is R. We have 415 is D. Okay, so we can grab those. Let's also grab these as well. This is the, the other condition, the other conditions that need to be met. And there was 41F is equal to an at sign. 4112 is a capital E. 413 dollar symbol. 41E is an E. Oh, sorry, I see. Um, and there you can see that's starting to come together. You can see here we have hack as definitely part of the word. Let's try and put this together. Um, hack, H A R A D, dollar sign, capital E. So we have the. Oh, we have 11 characters. And we know that the password that we're going to need to enter is 15. There doesn't appear to be any actual checks being done on the initial, on the 10 character password that it would be asked to enter first. They don't even check to see that it's 10, 10 characters. So where are we going to get these other four characters from? Well, the only other thing that we can see here is that there's a function call here. So it takes takes the input from us and then it's doing all these checks. But there's also this function where uvar2 is set equal to to this result and it passes in local 420 which is our um, let's double check that is our first character H so it passes that in and then uvar uvar2 that it's going to be placing a result in is the other check that it does here so we have cvar1 from this check and then we have this uvar2 from up here so let's have a look at the function and you see here it takes in the H, the first first letter. We have uvar1 is equal to, and it's checking if it's a digit, it's we have here param1 plus 6. So in our case, param1, it's our first character, H, it's actually a 1, it's our in terms of our first character. So this is saying uvar2 would be the seventh. Um, but then we have uvar1 is set to param1 plus 13, so it would be the 14th. And here we have some checks that are being done anyway, just like in the last example. So actually, let's um, let's try and put this together as well. We have a ivar2 is equal to 3. We have uvar1 is equal to 1. And we have this param 1 plus 4 is equal to t 
and param 1 plus 7 is equal to p. So if we add these four values, that's going to make us up to 15 characters. So that will be our 15 character password. Um, the ivar2 is actually param1 plus 6. So let's just say param1 plus 6. And a uvar2, uh, oh, sorry, uvar1 is equal to 1 plus 13. So param1 plus 13. So if this were a 15 character password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this, the seventh was, equal to 3, the, Um, 14th was equal to 1, the 5th was equal to t, 1, 2, 3, 4, there it's t, and the 8th, 6, 7, 8 is equal to p. Okay, so we have we insert our T below here, T, we insert our 3 below here, Th oops, 3, we insert our P below here as well, P, and then we insert our 1 below here, uh, sorry, 1 below here, and there we have Hack the Paradise. So there we've reverse engineered this program and retrieved that password without actually doing any debugging or anything that was all just statically uh, let's try and run this in wine again just put in any password there and then let's paste in and there you go congratulations now go validate your flag so that's all worked for us hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and any questions or comments leave them down below thanks